Online Libraries. And I know a lot of us are stuck at home, so I thought that we could put together a few quick springtime crafts together. I found a couple of crafts that we can use with everyday items that we might have in our house, so let's get started. First, we're going to make a butterfly. What you need for this is some glue, a clothespin, a cupcake or muffin baking cups, a twisty tie that you can get from your bread or something else, and some glitter. And if you don't have glitter, you can use markers or colors. Okay, so let's get started. First, we are going to take the muffin pan, or the muffin baking cups, you're gonna flatten them out, and then you're going to fold them in half with the pattern side facing out. You can see that. Once you fold it in half, then you're gonna fold it in half again. So you're folding it in quarters. Okay, so you've got one. And you're gonna do the same thing with the second one. You're going to get that extra there. Flatten it out. And you're gonna fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. Okay, so now you've got two. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them together like wings. You're gonna put a little dab of glue on the end. And then push them together for the wings. So we'll let that glue hold for a second while we work on the second part of it. So you're gonna take some glitter. If you have any glitter of your choice, I didn't have much so I'm using red. You're going to take your paper clip, pull the glue back out. You're going to glue one side of it. Pretty good glue there. Okay. Then you're going to dab it in the glitter. Now you have a nice little, can you see that? Nice little glitter body. Okay, let's move the glitter out of the way. Now, we don't need the glue anymore either. Now you're going to take the wings. You're going to clip the wings like so. And you're going to take the twisty tie. You're going to fold it in half. And then this is just going to be like the antennas. Kind of hard to see there but twist it put it in half and then you're going to take it the very top part of it open it up slide it right in there and now you've got yourself a butterfly and you can take the wings you can fluff them out if you want to make it a little more fluffy or however you want it now you've got a nice little Butterfly. Oh, and I forgot to mention, anytime you're using glue or glitter or paint, make sure you use cover your surface to protect it. I'm using some paper here to protect my surface. Okay, so there you go. We have the butterfly. The second, I'll leave that there so you can look at it. The second craft is a bunny stamp. So we're going to make a bunny stamp. What you're gonna need for the bunny stamp is some toilet paper rolls. May as well use these, these are very priceless right now. So when you empty a toilet paper, go ahead and hold on to it. Or you can use a paper towel roll, which is what I used, started cutting it there. You will also need some paint, a paintbrush, scissors, And then glue. I'm using a hot glue gun because it it um, dries a lot quicker. You can use regular glue, but it might not hold together as well if you're wanting to use it right away. Okay, so to get with the get started with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece out. Doesn't need to be maybe inch, inch and a half, just long enough to so that your hands can use it as a stamp. And you want to make them all about the same width. You're going to make three of them. 
Okay, once you've got the three of them, you're going to want to start shaping two of them to look like ears. Can you see that? You got one of them that looks like an ear, and then you're going to bend it a little bit so that it's kind of pointy on one end, and then shape the bottom half to be a little fatter. You see that? So it kind of looks like a teardrop. So these are going to be our ears. And then this one, you want it to be round. So if it, when you cut it, it misshapened itself, go ahead and make it round again. That's going to be the bunny's head. So we're going to do this. I wonder if you can see that right there. Okay, so now, if you're using a hot glue, make sure you have an adult helping you because this is very dangerous. If you're using regular glue, you may have to be a little more patient and let it sit and dry before you can use it as a stamp. Okay, so first I'm going to put the ears together. Okay, so I'm going to dab a little glue, just a little bit, don't need a lot, right there. And then you're going to lay it flat so that they're the same height on the back end. You want to make your, your stamp work. Okay, all right. Then, now that we've got the ears done, you're going to take the head. And you're going to dab a little on the ears on both sides. Hope you can see that. And then just attach the head. And now we have our stamp. At this time, you can reshape it as you feel you need to. I think mine kind of looks like bunny ears. You see that there? It kind of looks like it's going to be a bunny. And then once the glue is dried completely, you're going to put some paint on. You can put it there. You can put it directly on it. And then you're going to make sure you've got enough of it. Oops, I'll do it on the right side. Put it all on there good. I don't think I put enough paint on there. Paint. Quite a bit on those ears and that body, just around the rim. I wanted to clump too much because it might look a little thick in some areas if you're too thick with it, but be generous with the paint because might take a little bit to get it going. And then, since I used, since I covered my plate, I'm gonna just use this as a good spot. You're going to, see how I did. Make sure you're pushing it all along because there may be some areas that didn't get a lot of paint. Let's see, how did that go? Well, let's add a little more paint around the rim. It's getting there though. And you can use any paint color you want. Pink, yellow, purple, blue, brown, green, whatever color you want your bunny to be. And you're gonna push all around. There we go, let's see if that worked. There we go, can you see that? There's quite a cute little bunny started and then you can take some markers or once it dries, you can add a little bunny nose. I'm doing this upside down, so it's kind of hard. You're not going to be able to see it because I'm using a pencil. But once the paint dries, you can decorate your bunny however you'd like. So we've got two fun crafts that you can do in uh, less than five minutes. You've got your butterfly, and you've got your bunny stamp. So try these out at home and take a picture and share it with us. We would love to see how your craft came out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.